So after that last video, I, it got me thinking: Would it be possible to actually knock out every single NPC on Bangkok and pile them all up in my room? I don't know how far I'm gonna get with this, but I'm going to try it. Every so often, I'm gonna load up that save, just see how many more bodies I can get. I think the game will honestly crash before I complete it. I, I don't know if it'll even be possible to get some of the NPCs. Like there just might be situations where there's just too many uh, other NPCs in the room. There's no way not to get spotted. I don't know, but I'm willing to give it a bash. So here goes nothing. <laughs> don't draw attention to yourself. <laughs> yep. I've done a pretty good job so far, but the bigger this pile of bodies gets, the more difficult that will be, I suppose. Let's just assess the situation. So the south side of the map, we've done level 3 and level 4, and I don't believe there's anybody in level 5. So I guess I'll start with uh, down here, the bar area. Yeah, there's this guy here and there's these two guests. This should be relatively easy. So I guess I'll start off by distracting this guy with a screwdriver. Hopefully he will hear this. Aha, good. Alright, so we're off to a good start. I'll just move him here for now. Now the guests. So I'm probably going to have to lure him to about here, and then further up the stairs. Alright, she's going to come first. And so yeah, basically I'm going to have to repeat that procedure pretty much for every NPC in the fucking map. <laughs> And so now he's the only person left in this room. Ah, but if I'm going to drag his body, they're going to see it, so... I'll just do this. Don't think it's anything to worry about. Right, so now I'm going to lure one of these guards over here. I guess that was just out of range here. Perfect. Oh wait, what? I know you're there. Okay. Out, you Don't know who you are, but I'll take it. Okay. I'm missing the screwdriver. Where have I put it? Well, one of the screwdrivers has just sort of disappeared into the ether. Ah, oh, it was too slow. Shit. Right. So I don't want to use my crowbar as a distraction in case it also pings off into the ether. Um, so I'm just going to find myself something else that I can use. Oh, actually, yeah, fire extinguisher, that'll work. So yeah, put that there. Put that. Oh, I thought he didn't hear that. Shit. Okay, we'll try that again. Oh, now the game's trolling me. Come on. Wall what? Nothing again. Oh. God, that fucking manager. Maybe I should try and deal with her first, because she's just going to keep patrolling and getting in the way and just generally being a nuisance. Alright, come on now. Alright, show yourself. What was that? Oh, no. I don't want to get unconscious witness. I'm making things extremely difficult for myself, I know, but want to be completely 100% clean here. Chuck it there. Can you go over and see what that was? Huh? Okay. Hey, come 
out whoever you are. This is the police. It was me. Oh, there's another fire extinguisher here as well. Next victim, please. <laughs> wow. Now the game really is trolling me. But maybe now we can do that. Hello? Aha, there we go. Wait, what? Oh god damn it. That's a very good reminder to save the game after every fucking I was just gonna call them kills for the sake of brevity. Even though the whole point of this is I'm not killing anybody. Shit. Shit. This is why we save. Here. See, what we really need is a room down there that we can pile bodies up in. So having to keep dragging them up here is not great. Oh, here comes the manager. Fuck. Wait, I really, really want to get rid of her, so I'm just going to do this and hope that she does that. Yep. Oh, of course she doesn't come to get it. Somebody from two fucking flights of stairs down comes up. Like, is that just part of her character? It's the fact that she's the manager. She never deals with anything herself. She always gets someone else to do it for her. That could prove to be problematic in our mission. There's quite a lot of guests in here. Um, Maybe what I should do is deal with this room here. A bit of that. Anyone? Anyone there? Wait for the doors to close. <coughs> Boom. Now, the only thing I didn't think about is where I'm going to hide the body. Hopefully, this will do. Just putting them here. Because I'm going to be luring more people in here than don't want them seeing the body. Right, um, let's try this. Hopefully I'll be able to just take him out. Don't we have security? I took all of them out. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. But yeah, that, so if I can take out all the people who keep like coming back and Hello. forth, it's just me, don't throw anything that at me, please. might help. So like this guy, he's going to come out and smoke in the balcony. So I just need to uh, lure him, I guess, further over here, but then he might see that body. I don't know how good his eyesight is. <laughs> or you know, there's not really many people here, so I'll probably just be able to take him out without anybody spotting. Let's... Yes, I know I'm safe scumming, by the way, but... I don't care. Okay, that seemed to work quite well. Oh, fuck. Let's just be nice and quick about this. So, then there's like a waiter. I think he's in the room at the moment. He's leaving soon, I think. Yeah, I can probably get this guy here. Wow, that was quite the bounce. Have you heard that? Oh, so he just decided not to check it out. Cool. Please don't see. Oh my god, they're almost seeing. Ooh, that was a close one. Right, last one. Oh fuck. Somehow I've not tested actually. If I just open these doors, it doesn't seem like the staff notices the bodies. That was some small mercy. Hey, wait a minute. 
kick and get yourself. Oh, I might have to get one of the staff to come over instead. Oh fucking hell! He can just fucking see it through a tiny, tiny, tiny little sliver of fucking pixels. Ah! And that time it was noticed. Oh right, oh, this is annoying. I seem to have just been fucking like by a, some fluke getting it just right up until now. This is actually like not a very good setup at all. But I don't really see any other way of doing this. But actually, this might be quite good. Maybe I can uh, get this staff member. And then maybe. I don't know if the, the recording crew guys even like look over at the bar. So I might actually just be able to take out the other staff member. Or that could happen. Fucking hell. Like, I can't fucking see because of this light effect, which, in all honesty, is pretty good. But it's really, really fucking annoying for this particular thing. I'd be able to see his head better if I'm doing instinct. So then he turns around, but then he stands there weirdly. If I hug. To the side. He doesn't see it. Okay. Right, this is good. Definitely want to save here. So let's just uh, check it out. Yeah, these guys do move around a bit. Um, oh, now I could poison the wine? I, if he drinks from it. Which it kind of looks like he doesn't. Um, oh, and I can totally use this knife. Good day to you, security guy. So who's guarding the mall? <laughs> Paul Blart, obviously. I said hello. Okay, this is good. We're down to two. Save. Because you never know what could happen. Right. Out here pronto. Perfection. And now for this guy. Don't need to do anything fancy. Just boom. Alright. Just drag these bodies into the pile. And that's it, we've cleared out the bar. But there's still more rooms on this floor to do. So there's these two guys here. I'm guessing they don't really move. Maybe I need to take out this room. Hmm, this is a tricky one. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Because like, it'll be easy enough to lure one of these back here and take them out, but then there's the rest of them. Okay, what I'm going to try and do is lure this guy in here. That'll be a good start. Christ, the pile down here is... <laughs> it's getting pretty silly. And I'm going to... Will, I will be taking all of these bodies up to the original pile in Agent 47's suite, so <laughs> I don't know, should I do that at the end of every episode or at the end of the entire series? I'll have to figure that one out. Right, can I lure anyone else into this room? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, and probably for every one of these guys, I'm gonna have to do like two distractions. But I will try getting this guy over here first. That did nothing. This is big brain time. Yeah, I'll throw one here. So once the question mark goes away. Did hear it. Awesome. It's me, mate. Uh, right, I could probably lure one of them over here. 
and then into here. I said hello. Fire extinguisher. What happened to it? Where did it go? There it is. Is he having a cigarette indoors? Hmm. Eyes open, sir. I guess Thailand's behind the times. Right, I'm glad I used instinct because I do believe the manager is on her way up. So if I can lure her guard, then next time she comes round, maybe I could get her. Because by the time she does that, I'll have taken everybody else out because there's only two people left. Well, I mean, there's the people over in that part of the restaurant, but... Like, I can just wait for it to come past and just fucking cunt her head in. Wait, someone else is coming up here? I guess she just patrols in the restaurant? Of course, maybe I can actually get her to come after this. She didn't even fucking hear it. Not paying attention much. Here she comes again, let's try doing that. She heard that. Oh, is she actually going to come check out herself? <gasps> she is! Oh, this is exciting. I've never taken the manager out before. Thing is, is her guard going to follow her? Yes, he is. Fuck! That is annoying. Oh, but this is an opportunity right here. And I fucking... Ah, but it is doable. Okay, back to the main event. But what I'm actually going to try and do is lure him back here and then just take out the wait, uh, the bar sender. Out, whoever you are. Hopefully he's not going to hear this. Sure, whatever. Oh, it would help to have it fucking out. You heard that, right? If you check over there, I'll check right here. Sure thing. Hey, hey, you're being weird. Pack it in. Lol. <coughs> Damn it. I thought that might happen. This is after... What's her face? What? No, this is before. Oh, so I can have another shot at this. Right, let's try this. Hmm? Yeah, her guard is always going to follow her. So that is quite the hindrance. I don't know if there's actually a way of separating these two. Come on, come see this. No, there's no way to separate them. If cuz that was definitely closer to the guard than her. What is he doing? That was not what I intended to do. I wanted to just fucking just subdue him. <sighs> Actually, no, I've got an idea. It's going to uh, require some other precision timing. Wait for her to walk over. As she's walking over, we'll drop that just in case this doesn't work out the way I'm hoping it will. Oh, and of course, that one time where I actually had a fucking plan, he doesn't do what he has always done every single time. He stands in that doorway for a bit, which would be the perfect time for me to subdue him. But no, the one time, the one fucking time, I decide I'm going to be prepared for that and I'm going to subdue him. No, he just fucking walks along. Like, watch this, right? Watch this. Stands there. 
fuck's sake, man. This game is trolling me hard. Alright, I'll get in front of him. Hey, you watch your step, mister. So that he does sort of have to be a bit separated from her, right? Okay. You can move along now. Let's try that again, and this time we'll let him get a little bit further along before we fuck him up. So no, you Excuse must, me? you may not pass. Now you may pass. Excellent, right. She doesn't even fucking notice. Oh, that's great. However, that's gonna happen. Final attempt. Come over here. She's gonna walk along, and he's gonna come along as well. But I'm gonna stand in front of him hey, here, sorry wouldn't hurt, buddy. and I'm gonna keep standing in front of him. Dude, yo, this is 100% Egyptian cotton. So now he's pretty well separated from her. Now I'm gonna do that. He doesn't even fucking bat an eye. Right, but yeah, I can just subdue him here. Okay, so now Mrs. Manager Face does not have a guard. See, we're learning things about the mechanics here. This is this is good. Save the game again. And then go back to what we were doing before. Which is going to seem like child's play after all of that fucking around. Anything. And now this guy... I can just take him out in any way I like. Oh yeah, so... This is going to be where I ambush the manager. So I definitely want the bodies to be in here. These are the ones we want to take out. It's probably the first one that we've got to take out. If those guys see me throwing the fire extinguisher, he's not going to go for it. But if I do something like... Hey, wait a minute. And now, of course, he's going to be the one to go and get it. That's fucking irritating. Here? Unless I can literally just walk up behind him like this. Ah. Right. I need to be careful because she's on patrol in this area. Ah, yeah. <sighs> okay. I can wait. I can wait. I got, I got time. I am uh, really not looking forward to dealing with the restaurant downstairs. <laughs> or indeed any of outside. That's going to be fucking painful. Tell you what though, where does she go? Because maybe she should be the first one that I take down. Uh, this is kind of bothering. <laughs> yeah, I reckon the best way actually is going to be this. Watch this. Anyone there? <laughs> Fuck. Did I forget to say? Thank God for autosave. What's the deal with autosave in this game, by the way? It seems completely and utterly random whether it actually saves or not. It's like sometimes I'll have, you know, quite consistent saves every like five minutes, and then other times I'll go like 20 minutes and it won't save. And it's just, what are you doing, autosave? You big troll. Oh, actually, here's an opportunity. So he's gonna do that. And be all like, where did that noise come from? And then. I'll check this over here. And he didn't hear it because he's a fucking arsehole. Oh, he's a bodyguard. 
He's Jordan Cross's bodyguard. I think this is an outfit I've not had before. And yet, it looks like the manager is coming for her second patrol. And she doesn't have a fucking guard with her. This is awesome. Right, I can finally, once and for all, take care of the manager. She has been the bane of my existence on this map. It is going to be so satisfying to finally take her out. I'm going to get her when she's inspecting the bar. Oh yeah, I'm going to save her this moment. I might actually like reload the save a bunch of times and just do it over and over and over again. That is how much I am sick and tired of her catching me. Yeah, you inspect that bar. Oh shit, yeah. Oh. Oh, that was great. Fine addition to my body collection. Crowning jewel. My collection of unconscious bodies. Mm -mm. So, if I'm right in thinking, I can just do this. There! And that's the last one. That's another floor done. Do I take all of the bodies up to my room now? There's a lot of them and I really can't be bothered, to be honest. Um, oh, fuck it. I gotta do it sometime. So, I'll use his body to prop open the door here. And I'll use his body to prop open the door in my suite. The tedious part. It'll be worth it in the end, though, when, like, literally, you can't see the walls in this room because it's just fucking a massive pile of bodies. And my frame counter is at, like, 10 FPS. If it doesn't crash before then. If it does crash, though, I'm just gonna set up another pile of bodies. Okay, now the pile of bodies is so big that the doors can't close. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh dear. Meanwhile, there's these guards standing over here who for sure could see this if this was real life. They would see everything that was going on right now. But because video games... Oh, I'm so tempted to disguise myself as Abel. Just for the meme. The guard has best clearance. Although, when it comes to clearing out the recording studio, oh my fucking god, that's gonna be a nightmare. That might actually be more horrible than the restaurant downstairs. Yeah, I'm just, uh, here's the thing I just thought though. So, this is all happening in the south wing of the building. So that's now, so there's nobody in level 5 on this wing, but that's all of level 4, all of level 3, all of level 2. Level 1, I have no fucking idea how that's going to go, if it's even possible to clear out all of level 1. Um, and then there's the basement as well. Uh, here's the thing, let's say we clear out everything. We managed to pull it off. Then there's the problem of doing all of the north. And then, if we manage to do all that, but there's still some NPCs, like in the central lobby area, how am I going to get those bodies over to there? I guess the, the simple answer would be make sure there aren't any NPCs left. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm just... I'm thinking ahead here, maybe thinking too far ahead, just trying to think, you know, what problems we could run into, and maybe even come up with some preemptive solutions, I don't know. Look at the fucking state of this though, Jesus Christ, like, if I'm crouching, there are bodies higher than my head. 
I'm looking forward to the part where like I'm literally standing up and just I'm just surrounded just in a mound of bodies up to the ceiling fan. Oh god, I hope the ceiling fan doesn't interact with the physics cuz I don't know why I thought that would help me find out but like oh that could really 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 fuck with the frame rate of like there's bodies all the way up to the ceiling fan and it's just churning them oh man <laughs> But no, we're not at that part yet, but if we manage to literally knock out every single NPC on the map, it will be that bad, I'm sure. This is taking so long. <laughs> I just think how bad it's going to be dragging a body from like the top floor of the North Wing all the way down the stairs through the lobby and then back up the stairs again or I suppose I could drag them through like that part there I am so lucky that those guards don't see through that window <laughs> That's, that would make this part like awful how tall is it now like about elbow length maybe a little higher than that <laughs> fucking hell Did I just say elbow length? I meant elbow height. This is just the beginning. Like, I don't know, I don't wanna guess, like, percentage wise, how many NPCs we've already dealt with, but like, I don't know, this floor, the floor above, and the floor above that. Assuming even distribution of NPCs on each floor. You'd be looking at that maybe being... Oh, I don't know. Like somewhere between a quarter and a third. But then I think there are significantly more NPCs on the ground floor. When you take, um, you know, the outside into consideration. And then you've got uh, the recording studio. I think the number of NPCs in there is much higher than the NPCs that were on, like, you know, the side of the building. So it could be as low as, like, 10%. No higher than 20%, I think. I hope that is, like, a serious lowball estimate. Because I'll be doing this for, like, months to come. I, I bet coronavirus will be like long gone and forgotten and I'll still be fucking making this series. Because even if we have already dealt with 20% of the NPCs, that's the 20% that are closest to Agent 47's suite. But we're going to be dragging NPCs for like a very very long time. Oh, and I've thought of what I want to do with the manager's body. She is going to be a permanent fixture propping open the door to my suite. So like, once I'm done here, obviously I'll move the body to shut the doors to the, the bar there. But the manager's body is going to be permanently keeping these doors open. And there's also the, the guy in the lobby who's an enforcer is also being a total pain in my arse so if I manage to kill not kill for the sake of brevity we'll just say kill if I manage to kill him then yeah I will uh, also use him in some creative way and of course there's the targets like I wanted to be saving them for last I want both of them at the end of this to just be wandering about an empty hotel and then I can do whatever the fuck I want with them nobody will be around to catch me tell you what this guy's disguise is going to be really useful for when I'm doing the recording studio so 
forgive me, but I'm actually going to be reserving this body. I'm just going to be moving him over at one side here. Because that disguise is going to be very useful and I want to be able to access it easily. I suppose I could just put the disguise on now. And then switch back so now the bag is there. Yeah, actually, that works. Cool. We don't need to be minus one body. Awesome. Oh my god, 28 FPS there. So we've gone sub 30. That's a milestone. We have officially gone sub 30 with the body pile. So, just like I promised, she is gonna be propping the door open for me. Just like that. Wow. Let's take a quick screenshot here. Oh, oh. it's it saved there, went out 23 FPS. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> This is spectacular. There it is. Whoo, okay. So that's another floor done. I'll call that the end of episode one, I guess. What have I gotten myself into here? I hope you enjoyed and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.